This is our video number 15 on payroll accounting in Dell ERP9. And in this video, we are discussing about the payroll transactions. So remember one thing that whenever we are activating the payroll feature in Dell ERP9, two new voucher types are enabled. One is attendance voucher and the other one is the payroll voucher. Payroll vouchers record payroll related data for employees and employer contributions. We can enter separate voucher for every day or a single voucher for a given pay period such as a month. We can also enter data for individual employee, department wise, and we can select all employees, the all items. That is related with the payroll voucher. Second, we have the attendance voucher. In attendance voucher, we are recording uh, we are recording the attendance of the employee, the leave or production details, the overtime. We can enter separate voucher every day, or we can enter a monthly voucher, a single voucher for a given pay period, uh, such as a month with aggregated value. One voucher can store uh, data on all employees and multiple attendance type like you can add uh, absent present overtime these are the attendant uh, multiple attendance type now we have two different methods to enter this information we can enter the attendance voucher either manually or we have an option of autofill so we're going to create uh, our attendance and the production vouchers now that attendance and production detail for different employee by one method which is manual entry and by using autofill feature in Dell ERP9 and we need to do some uh, that is optional you can do the necessary configuration to change the default view of the attendance voucher so now how to enter the attendance voucher or how to record the attendance of employee or the production of an employee. Here we have an example. This is our employee, which is Ali. That is the basic salary, which is 10,000. Ali is working under accounts department and he is absent one day only. That is the convince allowance. House rent allowance will be uh, calculated on the total earnings. Uh, there is no holiday pay uh, there is no uh, bonus pay overtime is 10 hours and per hour it is 15 per hour it is 15 dirham there is no advanced salary the loan is 2000 dirham graduate limited contract is there and that is the total payable that we will calculate later i will show you this so now we need to enter this information we need to enter the uh, first, I'm going to enter the attendance record and the production record, uh, this overtime record. So how to enter the attendance record? Because uh, this employee, Ali, he is absent one day and there is an overtime of 10 hours. So now I'm going to enter this to the first method, which is recording it through manual entry. So how to do this in Dell ERP9? We need to go in payroll voucher in payroll voucher if you see here uh, here we have this f4 with two double uh, two underlines so the short key is control f4 which is the payroll voucher and the other one is the attendance voucher which is control f5 because there are two underlines so click this attendance now that is the manual entry recording the attendance manually so here we have this employee which is Ali so select Ali enter then attendance and the production time so that is absent pay you can do it with the uh, present pay also so I'm gonna do it with the absent pay right now enter and he is absent only one day so press uh, one here enter one enter and then because he also have the overtime of 10 hours so I need I need to record the overtime also for the employee Ali and the attendance and the production time is overtime and how many hours he worked as a overtime so that is 10 so enter enter 
any other employee right now no need so end of list and here you can write the description attendance and overtime recorded for the month of January 2020 so this is how you're recording attendance and overtime uh, of an employee through manual method and save it. similarly we have another employee let's suppose uh, we have this employee which is John Wick and uh, that is the salary information but right now we are recording the attendance and overtime so he he is uh, he was absent for five days and the total overtime hours that is 10 hours so now I'm gonna do it uh, through the auto uh, that autofill method that is our second method attendance voucher using autofill so this is our second employee which is John Wick so how to uh, record the attendance and the pro uh, the overtime for this employee so again you need to go in payroll voucher enter in payroll voucher here we have this attendance voucher which is uh, control f5 we are already in the attendance voucher and now you need to select this uh, alt a because there are uh, there is only one underline so alt a or you can click this so voucher date is this enter employee category that is uh, accounts department which is located in the by office enter and then you can select department wise individual employee wise and you can select all items so uh, right now I'm gonna do it department wise because this John Wick is working under accounts department so I'm gonna select here accounts department enter and now attendance type so that is absent right now so enter uh, default values to fill right now I'm gonna enter zero enter sort by employee name enter so automatically all that employees of that specific department uh, will come under this autofill method so Ali I'm gonna skip this one because we already enter manually enter and for John Wick he was absent for five days enter five days enter and here you can write the description attendance recorded for the month of January 2020 enter and you can save it similarly I'm gonna record it attendance out of fill Dubai office accounts department and here I'm gonna select overtime for uh, John Wick enter default value to fill right now it is zero sort by employee name enter and that is for attendance type is now overtime so we already entered uh, for this uh, for this employee Ali it's showing the current balance that that he worked 10 hours so we already entered this value man through the value uh, that uh, through the manual method enter and now we're gonna enter for the John Wick so he worked 10 hours so enter for 10 hours yes 10 hours enter enter over time recorded for the month of January 2020 enter enter and save it so this is how we are recording uh, the attendance and overtime through manual method and through attendance autofill method so now I'm gonna enter uh, the information for the rest of the employees we have Batman which is working in the marketing department and he is absent for one days and uh, total overtime that is 10 hours so I'm gonna enter for Batman through the manual method Batman attendance type is absent so he was absent only one day enter and uh, there is an overtime of 10 hours Batman overtime and uh, that is 10 hours and uh, next I'm gonna enter for uh, the employee which is Wonder Woman she was not absent but she worked uh, one hours only overtime so that is Wonder Woman overtime and uh, that is one hour enter enter and here you can mention 
that uh, attendance and overtime recorded for the month of January 2020. Enter, enter and save it. And if you want to do some the configuration, if you want to check the configurations, so we have here the, uh, we have this option F12. So click here. So these are the attendance configuration. So you can make this option as per your that show balances as on voucher date. So you can make these option uh, yes, all of them. So it depends on you. So enter and save it. So this is how you will uh, record the attendance and uh, the overtime as well as you can. Uh, do the configuration for this attendance voucher in Telia Pinal.